Welcome back YouTube to Rick's YouTube channel and this is a video for when the Xbox Series X comes out. A lot of people have been commenting and saying they currently play on PlayStation 4 but they're going to be getting the Xbox Series S or X in literally 8 or days time. So I thought I'd make a video and uh, people are asking me, I play on PlayStation 4, can I just merge my account over to the new Xbox Series X? Which basically you can. It's not really merging. All you're gonna do is sign into your Epic Games account on your new Xbox Series X. So like I said, we've got eight days to go before we get the Xbox Series X on our doorsteps or in store. Currently, I'm on the PlayStation. I'm on my Epic Games uh, account. You can see my connected accounts. I've got my PlayStation connected to my Epic Games account. So if I just went out and bought a brand, well, let's just say it's November the 10th, my Xbox Series X has arrived. I'm just about to start, well, I've downloaded Fortnite. I'm just about to log into Fortnite. You'll get into the login screen. It's gonna ask you to log in or you can press skip this. Don't press skip this because it causes no end of problems. You can get your account back, but it's a long winded process. Well, it's not really long winded. It'll take you about an extra 10, 15 minutes to get your account back. So it'll ask you to log in. Then it's gonna ask you to connect or activate your console. You'll get a unique code. You'll have to go to over to Epic Games on a browser or a mobile browser. Make sure you're signed into Epic Games or you have been so it will know what Epic Games account to link it to. And then put the unique code, which is on your new Xbox Series S or X screen onto the activation page, and then it will link your Epic Games account to your new Xbox Series S or X. You don't have to unlink your PlayStation, just keep your PlayStation on there. It's gonna make no difference whatsoever. So if you still play on the PS4, you can revert back to the PS4 and whatever cosmetics you bought on the PS4 will also appear on the Xbox. If you've got any V-Bucks that you've actually bought through PlayStation, they will not show on your new Xbox Series X. If you've got any exclusive PS4 skins, maybe you've got PlayStation Plus and you've downloaded their PlayStation Plus packs exclusive for PlayStation, they will appear on the new Xbox Series X. So like I said, any V-Bucks bought on the PlayStation 4 won't appear on your new Xbox Series X. As you can see, I'm not connected my Xbox. I'm just gonna show you how to do it. I've literally just moved house, so this is uh, still in its box. It's the Xbox X. I wish they'd name them different because it comes quite confusing when the new Series X is out. I'm just gonna unpack this, start it up, plug it into the PC, and I'm gonna show you connecting my Xbox X to my Fortnite account. Right, so I'm just about to start the Xbox up. Uh, if there's an update for Fortnite, I'm going to have to update it before it takes me to the uh, login page. Like I said, I've just moved. I've not played on the Xbox for three weeks. I haven't played on the PlayStation for a couple of weeks either. But let's see what it does. We'll start at Fortnite. If I've got to update Fortnite, I will fast forward it until we get to the uh, login screen. Wow, so it looks like it need an update. Uh, I'm gonna to have to update this now. I shall forward the video so you haven't got to watch Fortnite updating. Uh, then we'll launch Fortnite on the Xbox and show you how I connect my Xbox to my Epic Games account. Wow, that update seemed like an eternity to download. So I'm just about to launch Fortnite on the Xbox X. Uh, it's going to load into the login page and this is where you're going to activate your new Xbox. So if you do decide to switch from PlayStation 4 to over to the Xbox Series X or the S, this is how you're going to connect your Epic Games account. Just remember, if you've tried to connect your Epic Games account to your Xbox, you've had a previous Xbox One, 
you're going to have to log in on your new Xbox Series S or X with the same Microsoft account. If you create a new Microsoft account and you've previously logged in to your Fortnite account signed in, it will stay linked to that Microsoft account. But if you've never played Microsoft before on the Xbox, you should be good to go. And it's going to try logging in. Obviously, it's not going to log in because you've not signed in. So it's going to ask you to link an account. You're going to press A to link an account. It's going to pop up this unique code and you'll have to head over to www.epicgames.com forward slash activate to actually activate your new Xbox. So I'm going to put up the PC now. You can see the Xbox is not connected. I'm going to open up another browser and I'm going to type Fortnite activate. So I've got Fortnite activation page, link an Epic Games account. I'm going to press that. And like I said, I can see that I'm logged into my main Epic Games account purely because I've logged in on this other browser. So I know I'm logging into my right Epic Games account. Then all you want to do is put the code which is on your screen. Let's move this box down. This code here, we're going to type it into the box. Once that's done, press continue. And then it says your device has been activated on your account and is ready. The screen on your new Xbox Series X will refresh momentarily. So there it is, it's refreshed, it's logging in. I'm going to go back to my connection page. I'm not going to update it just yet. I'm not going to press the refresh button on the browser. I'm just going to wait until it logs into my main account on the Xbox. We'll jump straight into the lobby. I'm going to press not now. And then on my main account. Just to let you know, sorry, my Xbox X sounds like a Harrier jump jet. It is super loud. I need to reapply some thermal paste, but eight days to go to the new Xbox Series X. I think it might just go back in the box. So the first time you log into your Epic Games account on your new Xbox is going to be displaying your Epic username. It won't be displaying your Microsoft account name until the next time you close down Fortnite and play it. So if anybody writes in the comments, so oh, that's your, your Xbox username, no, it's my display name and until you start Fortnite again and then it display your Microsoft Gamer tag. So we're on the PC. Let's just open this up a little bit more. I'm going to press refresh. Man, that Xbox X is so loud. Go to accounts. You can see I've now connected my new, well, it's not new, but it will be if you're getting an Xbox Series X or an X, it'll be your new Microsoft Xbox which is connected to your Epic Games account. Now, I hope that shows you how to connect your new Xbox to an Epic Games account so if you're a PS4 player and decide to switch you can't wait for the PS5 you need to get to the next gen console as soon as that's how you connect your Xbox up to your Epic Games account. If you're new around here, I will be making PlayStation and Xbox next gen videos. Uh, make sure you leave a like, subscribe, and I shall get back to you with another video. Thanks for watching.